Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to our channel on Land Matters. It matters that it is land and there are matters on land that we must begin to interrogate, to analyze and to understand with a view to seeing how we can live on this thing called land peacefully, productively and for posterity. My name is Abigail Mbagaya Mukoli. I'm a land and land governance expert practicing in Nairobi. So welcome back and today we are shooting right from Nairobi, our capital city, on a cold June morning. Karibu sana. Uh, on today's topic, I want to talk about this thing called caveat emptor or buyer beware. I repeat again, this thing called buyer beware or caveat emptor. Because I have seen these notices being put out in the papers, being put out everywhere, and maybe people don't even take time to take notice or even to read to understand what does that mean. What it simply means is that you need to be aware. The registered owner or the person who has put the advert is putting you on notice to beware, not to deal in that piece of land, or to be cautious. He's cautioning you from dealing in that piece of land. So you need to stop and examine why is he cautioning you. What it means is that, what buyer beware means is that, or caveat emptor, what it means is that the buyer of a property has the full responsibility to ensure their suitability, the availability, the genuineness of a property that he is buying. Let me put it in another way. It means that when you want to buy a property, the burden of establishing the genuineness of the documents, whether the person selling you is the registered owner, whether the property you are buying is one that you are buying, lies with you, the purchaser of the property. And I thought that I should talk about this because in the recent past, I just saw an advert in the paper, you know, someone has put the caveat and torn notice in the newspaper. And he was cautioning people, and he has taken photographs, and he's cautioning people from dealing, from buying a specific property. On that property, I could see that people have done a subdivision of a piece of land somewhere on the outskirts of Nairobi, but within Nairobi County. They've done a subdivision of 50 by 100 plots, and they're busy selling to unsuspecting Kenyans, and Kenyans are buying. These people have gone and subdivided, and they are selling. They've done beautiful flyers, nice ones, and they're selling this land that they don't own to unsuspecting Kenyans. So the owner has put out a notice, a caveat emptor, warning, warning Kenyans. He has put out a notice of buyer beware, warning Kenyans from dealing or transacting in that land. And what he's doing is that he's telling you that should you deal in that land, he will not take responsibility for any loss that you will suffer. In other words, you are on your own. So you need to be careful when you're buying land. You need to be careful, and I'm repeating, the buyer has a responsibility to confirm the suitability, availability, and legality of the documents of the land that you're dealing in. So should you not do that properly, then you will suffer loss. And I want to give a small example of what has happened. And this has happened to, and it, happened, it has happened to many people, but this time it's another, as a young girl who I know. This young girl was telling me the other day that there was a piece of land that was being sold somewhere in Thika or on the outskirts of Ruiru, it was Thika. It was a subdivision scheme. They went and they bought the plots. They paid the person who was selling the property. They paid him money. Now they started waiting for their subdivision titles. No title. They are looking for the fellow. The fellow cannot be found. They call him. The phones are no longer going through. But then already they have moved in. They have even started building. Immediately, somebody else comes on the ground and says, what are you doing on my land? And they're trying to tell the person, we bought the land. Then the person told them, who sold you the land? And this person is telling them, I never sold my land. Who did you pay money to? The people are trying to explain, she's not alone. They're in a group with others. They're saying that, oh, we paid so and so. He said, I don't know who so and so is. Here is my title. I've not even subdivided my land. I have not even sold it. But now this owner of this property is very kind. He's telling them, now if you want to own this property, pay me market value. Now can you see? You see what's going to happen? She's going to pay for that land a second time if she wants to own the land. If not, she just has to walk away. So she was telling me, Mama, what do I do? I told her, my dear, you are conned. 
You bought, you paid somebody who was not the owner of the land. Now the owner of the land has come on the scene. He wants you to pay him market value. You have no choice. Pay them the market value if you want to stay on the land or alternatively carry away your building. Oh, I will go, even if you go to court, save yourself some legal fees. The owner of the property is saying they never sold to you and indeed you never paid him any money. What, what are your choices? Negotiate with the owner of the property, pay her the land, for the value, the money for the land, and they will give you, they will transfer a title to you. So you can see she's going to suffer loss because she will not take time to determine if whoever they were paying for the land was really the true owner of the land. So when you're dealing in land, as a purchaser, the responsibility of you, of, of the responsibility of determining the availability, legality of that land lies with the buyer. So please, when you're dealing in land, let us take time to confirm the availability of this land, the legality, the owner, before you find yourself in a situation. Because when that happens, the owner of the land who has advertised and warned you will not be held liable for the losses that you'll suffer for dealing with people who are not the registered owner of the land. So ladies and gentlemen, please be aware. Thank you so much for listening to me. Uh, next time we want to talk about cautions and restrictions on land. These are also other very important things that people are always doing all the time and maybe you don't know what. People say, oh, you're not a caution, you're not a caution. So you need to know what a caution is. So we are going to discuss that in our next video. Thank you so much and God bless you.